So, thanks for joining us today, guys. We're off on a vlog today. We're going to check out some markets, but if this is your first time on Unstable TV, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that Christmas bell. And if you're back with us again, thanks. <laughs> So, we love a good vlog here over on Stable and we love bringing you guys with us. We know a lot of you have said, bring us more places with you in the <laughs> live streams. And we are, we're getting around to that. We want to bring you everywhere with us. We do our best. Um, so, where did we go or where are we about to go today? So, we are about to go today because we didn't go there the other weekend to Galway Christmas Market. This is supposed to be Ireland's number one market like every year and we never went. So we decided, let's go this year and see what the hype is about. So let's jump in and jump over and we'll meet you in the video. So here we are bringing you guys down Galway Market with us. It's very busy on this street. A lot of great markets were set up here. A lot of fuel trucks as well. Yummy, yummy stuff. Like look at them homemade cakes and sweeties very cool like we're trying to capture ourselves immersed in the crowd here with you guys wow and here's more presents and just trying to show you all the decoration setup here we are trying to get them super instagram pics Trying to show you the ferris wheel, but the overexposure did not capture it too well. Sorry about that. Here we are again and trying to get photos with the Christmas trees. It was actually really hard trying to get photos and walk and record at the same time. And we couldn't have the background audio because there was Christmas music everywhere. So enjoy us trying to talk to the camera and taking photos. So I tried to get a photo here and someone decided they wanted one with me. So we both got a photo then together and we went back through the markets to have a look through the stalls to see what they had to offer. Just want to show you guys this picturesque wreath they had, very nice. And look at all this stuff on offer here, all handcrafted at the Galway market, 10 out of 10. We found Super Mario as you can see there, it's a me Mario and a bit of Sonic as well. And here's the famous paddy caps and a book of hat of the Galway market. There's Peaky Blinders and Christmas hats. So here's the coffee stand. And of course we had to get a coffee that was cinnamon. So we went to try this out. Just want to show you the sign. And here's the little gingerbread house that was just opposite the coffee house. This was really cool. And here we are trying our coffees that we just got. I think mine was a cinnamon vanilla chai latte and Danielle got some like Christmas surprise that she ended up throwing out. I got a winter spice latte, whatever that means. Um, as you can see, I was very confused by the taste because I had no idea what was in it and I didn't really taste of anything. And there's the coffee company. And yeah, the coffee on its own was nice but the flavouring wasn't too great. 
the coffee I had was 10 out of 10. <laughs> Danielle wants a point. So here is another shot of gingerbread house with the coffee. Oh, very picturesque in the Instagram. Happy Christmas. And here we are. Like, I just couldn't get enough of this coffee. At first, I was like, how's this going to taste with the cinnamon on top? I'm just really good. And then I was like, let me try your coffee because I don't like mine anymore. And I took mine back. And here is a nice Christmas foresty woodland here. This is really cool. Um, I was looking for the snowman. I couldn't find the snowman. Because someone said there was a gigantic snowman. But there was no snowman. This is obviously what they were on about here. The one on the sign with the top hat. So I got con. That's fine. It was still really christmas esque And just a nice panel around the light. So we're back into the immersive crowd of the market. So this is where we, over there on the far right, is where we went to get filled. And we were looking around for some mulled wine to try. Because you have to with the Christmas. Couldn't get enough for that Ferris wheel though. It's a shame we couldn't get on it. So here is a nice ornament store. All handcrafted. Really cool. And the clothes as well. I think they were vintage stuff. Maybe I'm wrong, could be hand stitched. Most of it was handcraft on the market. But um yeah. We're trying to find something to eat and drink here. Very crowded as you can see, but that's that's a good thing. That's the nice Christmas spirit. The Christmas spirit is out in force and look at this big boy of a Christmas tree. If that doesn't say Christmas with the star on top, I don't know what will. So I got some sweaty cheese chips. The cheese unfortunately was not melted, so that stand I'm not gonna name them, but they could have done a lot better with that. But I ate it all the same because I was starving. I got a hot dog, which was actually quite nice, but I overloaded it with ketchup and mustard, so that was my own fault. Yum. Then we decided to go for some mulled wine, of course. So awaiting the beverage, you know. Here we go, the fourth try of the mulled wine. I was shocked because it was actually good. That's what was wrong. I was like, this one's actually good. We went to a market last year, it wasn't great. Here's Danielle trying the mulled wine. At the start, I was a little bit confused, but it was actually 10 out of 10. So, just getting a nice shot of the Christmas market lights. I think I zoomed in way too much for this, but who doesn't love a good zoom shot? And then I decided to try and get the crowd behind us and the lights and the ferris wheel. Cause I'm trying to get that ferris wheel in a lot of the shots. And I think I end up like putting the camera on someone's face by accident, of course, not on purpose. But here it is at night though. You got the daytime and the nighttime. How about that for a tree? I think the night time is definitely more Christmassy and more light up. You can feel the festivities in the air. Um, I don't know where we were going, but yeah, just here's pubs on the side there. The side of the film for no reason. Um, I was making sure I just got enough of the market to show you already. Just want to show you like how packed it was because. Given the past few years of like everyone just being inside and not really seeing anyone, so it was great to see everyone out and just stalled full, all homemade. And this is a smoky boy here now. This field truck was done out then. Just had to get that smoke esque shot, give it that Christmas chimney. And here we are out at the Christmas trees all lit up like the ornaments were even better lit up at night like we actually missed some of these in the daytime but look how good that looks coming off the tree at night this fella how is it going and this ferris wheel at night like look at the lights coming in and even more look how great the gardens look lit up in this selfie here that we're trying to get for the gram do it all for the gram get a filter on that get your sepia your black and white like, look at this now. That's really cool, aren't they? All the up. If that doesn't say Christmas and an empty garden at Christmas, I don't know what will. So here we are. I think this is selfie attempt number, like, five or six. And then here we are, getting a selfie. 
So we went across from the market to like the more of a carnival type spot next to the Galway market, which was really cool. They had um, Ferris wheels, they had a merry-go-round, and even behind us there is Knock a Santi into a chimney. And there's just the outside of the market, so you guys can see how packed it is. Here we are getting a selfie for no other no reason. So I thought I was going to be great at the game and then hit myself in the face. So it was a great start. But I nearly got him in the chimney. Almost. After Danielle's amazing shot, I'm up next. And like all typical men, I just overpowered it. Yeah, and the Santi went into the next county. So I gave it another go without hitting myself this time. Progress. And got absolutely nowhere. But it's fun. And she also gave us a cheeky extra game too, so thanks. And we still lost. <laughs> <laughs> so all in all we lost, but it was a really fun game. So a very big shout out to that Carney for giving us the extra shot they didn't have to, which was really cool. Um, we just found this other game, it's knock all the elves down with a beanbag, so we decided to stand there and watch, because after our absolute, I wouldn't know what attempt you'd call that, knocking the Santi into a chimney, we want to sit this one out and take a look at how the game was played. So as you can see, the person here has like, nearly all the elves down, but someone, yeah, look, there you go. I was about to say, but someone comes along and they knock the rest of them down. And this carny was even nice enough to give them a nice cheeky shot. Whatever they were handing the shot out, it must be like you must have that like good look about you to like there have a free shot on the house. So here's the Ferris wheel. I want to get up close. I think the Ferris wheel was actually the main character of this market in the end, because we were getting close and close to it every time. And here is the Christmas tree in the mark from the outside. Just want to get a layer up shot of it from the road. Going back to the Ferris wheel again, just can't get enough of it. It's just maybe the Christmas lights on it. Bit of a Ferris wheel obsession. But trying to show you the crowd as well that was around it because that actually extended into the road. And we're back. Oh my god, that was such a good <laughs> market. How did we do that? That such, was a very good market. Such Christmas, such enjoyable stuff. Very busy, yeah. very hopping, a lot of culture going on, a lot of nice culture going on with the Irish and our newly found Irish to have integrated into the culture. Mm -hmm. But it's great to be back out in the open after the past few years where there hasn't mm. been as good as Christmas markets. It's great, everything's back open, you know, everyone's happy to doing their events, you know, the Christmas chair, the trains are going back around, there's Santi, mm -hmm. and we've done a really cool hit the Santi up in the chimney again. We did. I was just saying, there we lost, but it was fun. We done it for you guys. Exactly. And we tried some nice festive drinks and food in there. Would you call that food festive? I don't know, but we tried it. We were trying to get on the Ferris wheel, but the queue was literally all the way from out the back to the road, and it was just busy in the Galway City Centre. The queue was about 45 minutes for... Any of the um, little fairground rides that were there? No. Yeah. Absolutely not. By the time we would have been in the queue waiting, the market would have been closed. So we couldn't do it anyway, but the queue was just crazy. Crazy. It was like Disneyland queues. Yeah. Understandable though. Um, you know, we're all out again. Mm -hmm. And when they said this was the number one, we totally agree with that. Mm -hmm. Regardless whether you don't want to partake in any of the stalls or anything, even just visually and the yeah. walk through it is spectacular. And it's very, very good atmosphere. Absolutely. All the little setups and stuff when you're walking around are amazing. So it's not just, like you said, it's not just you're walking up and down to the stalls. There's, you know, loads of Christmas lights, big gingerbread houses, loads of Christmas trees. Just keeping it nice and festive. But there wasn't any chestnuts roasting I'm hoping for. Unfortunately not, no. Mm. There was mulled drinks and plenty of cinnamon. There was lovely mm -hmm. cinnamon food and coffees and baked goods and sweets very Christmassy and that's where I think there was a lot of good spirit of Christmas as you were going through it you actually felt the Christmas spirit when you were there because mm -hmm. some markets just don't have it but this no. one did have it to be fair the market in Dublin isn't great no. it's not great it's 
So it was good to go down there and see like a proper market. Yeah. So if you're coming over to Ireland or you're visiting for the Christmas holidays, or you're from Ireland yourself and you're <laughs> like, where will we go? Go to the Galway, Galway market. Mm -hmm. We're not endorsed or anything like that. We genuinely did have a good time. Absolutely. Because don't worry, we would tell you if it was bad. We would. And it wasn't. It was actually really fun. Yeah. Just don't go with Dublin one. Yeah, Dublin one was not great. <laughs> no. So yeah, let us know what you thought of this go away Christmas market. And what Christmas market have you been to? Where have you been to? And what do you do when you're celebrating Christmas? Exactly, let us know in the comments. If there's any nice traditions you have that you'd like us to try out here, let us know too. We'd love to try them out. That has been our two cents. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.